Welcome, everyone, to The Everything Show. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212 and I'm with Ben. What's up, Ben? Hello. Hi, right, Ben. So what do you have for us? Well, I was skimming Twitter, and then there's a CNBC article that basically says, if it's going through Thursday, 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 will be the announcement of Fox being bought out by Disney. I think the type of announcement we're going to get is that they are going to acquire some stuff, yeah. but not everything. Probably just X-Men and Fantastic Four, maybe. Deadpool. Yeah. Um, but we heard the other night that it might hit a snag with the Fantastic Four because somebody else has the rights to them, too. Uh, Constantine Films, I think. Yeah, I'm sure, more, I'm sure Disney could throw them some money in there before. <laughs> Disney's like... Yeah. Look the other way. We'll, we'll take. What do you want? Five hundred thousand million? A couple million? Whatever. Okay. So we got to phase four. So you take this. We, you take this check. We'll we'll put them to good use. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, I mean, Marvel needs to get X Men. They need to get Deadpool. They need to get. They need to get. Need, uh, Fantastic Four. They need Galactus and Silver Surfer. All that stuff. And I think that'd be great. Think about it, Marvel. I mean. They shoehorned in Silver Surfer in the second Fantastic Four movie. Marvel does uh, their own Silver Surfer movie. It's going to kick ass. Because Marvel knows how to take their C to D list characters and make them into Absolutely. household names. And let's talk about doing different universes, different time periods, different stuff for the phases. Yeah. Um, Hugh Jackman came out and said that he's not going to do Wolverine anyway. Even if it's yeah. going to be with the Marvel Universe, and I doubt that, because here's the thing: a lot of people were talking about it. Why can't he be in Avengers Four? Avengers Four is just about done filming. They can't alter the script to put him in there. So when the deal is going to be done, they could be doing Avengers Five. That is a possibility for Wolverine to appear as Hugh Jackman. You know, yeah. Hugh Jackman is Wolverine, um, but it's not going to happen now during this phase. So um, I think if he does appear, even if it's a cameo or something, it will be, you know, with the new phase. That's basically going to be it. Um, I yeah. do think we'll see him again as Wolverine. I'm pretty sure. So never say never. Um, I'm sure if they gave him $15 million, he would do it in five seconds. So no, just like speaking they gave of, um, Robert Darren Jr. again. Speaking of the article, the James Mangold, the director of Logan, claims the Disney Fox deal means less movies. I guess Disney, like, less movies than we think. I think he. Let's look at the article. Says I think maybe he's talking about like. Um, the real thing that happens when you make a movie. I think he's talking about like rated R movies because Disney has yet to. To do one. So what do we mean? They'll buy Deadpool so they'll never show Deadpool. Oh, Deadpool could work in PG thirteen, I think. He can, he can, he doesn't have to totally swear all the time. Wow, I think he has to swear. I don't know. So the Punisher's getting a second season, huh? Yes, it is, but there's no surprise because that it did well, though, right? Yeah, I thought it was the best Punisher we've had yet. Oh and shit! With the way they ended the first season, they kind of have to do a second season. Rotten Tomatoes gives Star Wars The Last Jedi 94% on the tomato meter and 99% want to see it. Thank you, Hayden. Hmm. I've heard Luke Skywalker really shines in this movie. Oh, and, and George Lucas saw The Last Jedi. He thinks it was beautiful. Wow. It's got the Lucas seal of approval. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's exciting! Let's see what Hayden has to say. Yeah. We'll get him in here. Tell us, Hayden. So, I am looking forward to seeing it. I can't freaking wait. Oh, there he goes. He's off. But he'll be back. All right. So, anyway. What happened? Ah. You all right? Oh, I might just say this. I got this the other day. The Bill and Ted oh, Excellent Collection. Oh, the most excellent collection. It's got both both the movies, but a lot of special features on it, like new audio commentaries, a look look backs on both the movies and makings of. Yeah, you got to talk to me off air about the swag box thing, because I only got like 149 points, but 
you got to tell me how to get high, high points. I get servers and stuff. But, all right. Um, we got some box office numbers. We're only going to say two movies, obviously, because that's what I'm really concerned mm -hmm. with. Justice League, of course, has in 615 million people as of Monday. 615. It needs 668 to tie Man of Steel, which yeah. is not happening mm. at all. I heard we might be getting a weed and cut of the movie. If it, if oh, it, it is going to happen? Hmm. If it gets extended, it's not going to be Snyder. It's probably going to be just weed because there's some stuff that they can get that didn't make it into the full movie. And Thor uh, is at 834. 834. So now once Last Jedi hits, these all these movies are going to be bye-bye. Bye-bye. Gone. That's what's going to happen. Mm. Oh, also, I got this from another form. Apparently, seasons one and two of Ash vs. Evil Dead are on Netflix now. Which is great, because even if you watch on Netflix, you, you know, that, that's supporting the show. Yeah, and Bruce, Bruce Campbell came out in an article saying, pay for Ash vs. Evil Dead or it's getting canceled. Well, first of all, I do pay for Ash vs. Well, Evil Dead. A lot of people are pirating the network. They're what? A lot of people are illegally downloading I the show. I pay for the network, the whole yeah. block, to have all the stars and Showtime and all that. Personally, I think they should just make a deal with Netflix that they air episodes together. That way people who already have Netflix can watch the Why show. Why don't they just make support. them on Netflix from now on? I mean, yeah, they want, they're talking about gory stuff. Watch Punisher. There's some real bloody... Oh, is that what they're complaining about? No, the reason they chose Stars was because it wasn't going to work on any other channel because right. they had to do their Evil Dead shtick, which is a lot of blood, guts, and dismemberment. But with, yeah. the, with the bloodiness of some of the Marvel stuff they've done on Netflix, I think Gash would be... Yeah. And people, I guess, don't want to pay for one show off of Stars. It's like, well, just put them over to Netflix. Then you can get your Marvel, your Ash, you get everything under one banner. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I want to give you this article because I want... you. I want to talk about this definitely. I already talked to Chris about it off air. Sure. Um, let me just give this to you. Okay. Now, now, so for those wondering, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 is on Netflix. That's cool, too. I own it on Blu ray and DVD. I'm still going to watch them on Netflix because I'm such a nut for Guardians. Yeah. All right. Uh, so yeah. he's got this article. So, again, say the article. Uh, Peter Park seems Peter Parker is in Spider Verse. Now that's interesting because I saw the trailer and it showed a gravestone that said Peter Parker around. Hmm. I believe it was a quick shot. Yeah, the thing is that he's going to be the mentor to everybody, and then he's going to die, I guess, and then they okay. carry on. It's going to be like a Batman Beyond type of thing, only he's actually going to die. I I saw, am, I saw the trailer. It looks interesting. The I am a hundred percent against it. I don't want to see it. I don't believe in it. I never liked Miles Morales, and I am not going to be force-fed with this notion of Peter Parker's time in the comics needs to go, and Miles Morales is the new generation. No, I'm sorry. I never took to Miles Morales. It was always an alternate reality, not the real reality. He shouldn't even be in the Marvel Universe. He should mm -hmm. be in his own universe. My Brian Michael Bendis is not in Marvel anymore. I think what you... DC. You said it on a cast, I think, that I watched the other day that I agree with you on. I grew up with Peter Parker. He's always been my Spider-Man. He's the one I... I know people get sick of him always being the main one, but that's because he is the main one. Like, if you want to do some other Spider-Man, why not bring in Ben Riley, the Scarlet Spider? Yeah. Or, some, or somebody else. So, I'm not Miles Morales is not my Spider-Man. Hashtag not my Spider-Man. Not my Spider-Man. Yeah. Well, so, the hell with that movie. Well, speaking of movies, it... We have Stephen Capel Jr. to helm the Creed sequel. Ooh. Okay. And it looks like um, Stallone is also working with Luke Cage showrunner Chio Hodari Coker. I've co-written the follow-up, which will deal with Adonis Creed as he tries to navigate his newfound fame. Now, are they going to kill Rocky in this one? I hope not. I can't live with that. They kill Rocky. Oh, no. I got Creed on Black Friday for a good deal. I'm getting the, all the Rocky movies on Blu-ray for Christmas. And now I know you can't wait to talk about this article. Oh, yeah, She-Ra. She-Ra, Princess of Power. I was never a fan of He-Man or She-Ra, but... I grew up on that. Hey, I was like, all I four was really more, more girl cartoons, just don't do a lot of feminist bullshit in the cartoon. Yeah, please. Spare us, okay? With that. You know, 
like I'm Shira, Mr. Evil. And on, on another note, we're going to talk about this um, briefly here, but probably more than likely in a bigger cast. The Walking Dead ratings are dropping. Not dropping where it could be cancellation levels, but getting scary dropping. Um, and I got to tell you, I read the interviews. Uh, Billy had brought this to my attention, but the problem was that I couldn't even uh, do any cast yesterday. A lot of stuff happened. Um, it was just a bad, bad day. Um, yeah. My friend died, Ooh, and sucks. it was really like shocking last night. And then before that, I was in a lot of pain with my my tooth, so I was just processing everything yeah. um, and just kind of trying to come to grips. 37 mm. years old, I, I just don't understand, you know, how yeah. this could happen. Um, never thought in a million years, but um, I don't know what to say. Rest in peace, Sam. But anyway, um, yeah, so there's some stuff that's uh, come out. Star Wars Last Jedi, I'm going to see at the end of the week, hopefully. Um, Maybe see it next Tuesday. I'm always a week after. So yeah. And so. for fans who read the Guardians of the Galaxy comics, Marvel came out and said it's been canceled after she won 50. Why is that the case? I wonder. Be because. We're, nobody's you, getting it? Be, no, it's because they're doing a new comic called Infinity Something that's going to start in February. I see. And they're starting to get the hint that when you create these mini series, people don't get the other series. Possibly. Probably the time of Infinity War. Yeah. yeah. I got um, two free credits on Amazon for free graphic novels, so I picked up a Star Wars one and a Spider-Man Oh, they one. gave me something, too. They gave me, like, a free $5... Um, what the hell was that? Was it a Kindle? Kindle? They gave me a free $5 Kindle purchase or something? I, I don't know. I, don't I know got why. free graphic novel purchases, which Mike sure helped. Yeah. I got a Star Wars comic that's got Thrawn in it, and then I got a Spider-Man comic called The Parker's Luck, one Dan Slot worked on. Because mm. I had never really read any Spider-Man comics, so I figured I'd go with that. I got to pick up the new Amazing Spider-Man tomorrow. Um, new Scarlet Spider tomorrow and the Flash yeah. and all our comics. It's comic book day, people, Wednesday tomorrow. Um, you know what? The only thing I could say in closing is, you know... Nobody ever knows what the future holds, and, and life is really short. So the only reason why I'm saying this is because it hit me with a ton of bricks yesterday and just had me think. And, you know, just make sure, like, if you have, like, family members like your mom, your dad, brothers and sisters, just always tell them every day you love them. Because mm -hmm, you, know? you never know when they're going to. And even your friends, just, you know, it's just – yeah. You just don't know, man. You don't know, and I, I I don't even know what to say. I I have a complete loss of words. I'm just in shock still from yesterday. And it's just too short. It's just it could be snuffed out in an instant. You mean crossing the street or whatever, something can happen. So just be safe out there, and you know I don't know what else to say, but all right, guys, take care. Bye for now.